today's riding demo. I have Gail with me today as my horse. We're going to be reviewing reins and different ways that we can use our reins to communicate with our horse. But before we go there, we're going to quickly review some equitation and then we'll briefly discuss things before we actually go to the riding video. So when we're riding, we do not want to have these types of loosey-goosey reins. So if the reins are smiling at you, they're way too loose, okay? We don't want to see that. You can smile, not the reins. Other things we don't want. When you're steering, your elbow should not come behind you and your hand should not come up. These are very common mistakes that people make to steer like they're flying away. So that's what I'll tell people, to not fly away when they're riding. We want to make sure that we're riding with a contact so that the reins are making a straight line from your elbow to the bit which Gail is holding, our makeshift bit. When we're doing this, we're not holding them so tight that we're pulling our horse. We're also not holding it so tight that our elbows are straight and locked, okay? So my elbow's relaxed, my horse is relaxed, but my reins are still making a straight line. So this way, I'm not doing anything weird with my reins. This is not giddy up, despite what you see in Western films. We're not doing that. But when we're riding, we're looking for the movement to happen very subtly, but that our horse can still feel it. So if I have Miss Gale close her eyes, I want her to tell me which rein I'm pulling on. It'll be opposites if we I match. Can do thumbs up. Okay, we can do thumbs up. So I'm gonna wiggle one of my reins using my fingers. I'm gonna squeeze and just slightly pull my elbow and shoulder back. All right, she got it right, I move this rein. She got it right, I move this rein. So you didn't see me doing anything like this, but yet she could still feel what I'm doing. So when it's in the horse's mouth, you can open your eyes, yeah. When it's in the horse's mouth, they're very aware of what's going on. The biomechanical setup of the bit is to communicate with the reins between the horse and the rider. So it's going to be even better communication than what I'm having with Gail right now. So in today's riding lesson, we're going to go over direct, indirect, and open rein, which is the types of reins that we can use in English riding. But first, we wanted to go over this, so that way it can make a little more sense once you start the GoPro video next. 